In the perspective of the future, Russia will be able to attack NATO countries because it has focused on the military economy. This was stated by German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius in the Bundestag. The security situation remains very serious for the foreseeable future. We must assume that the Russian army will grow by more than 30% to 1.5 million soldiers in 2026. Russia has focused on its military economy and will probably be able to train its army to the point where it is capable of attacking NATO territory in a few years, he warned. With this in mind, Germany is doing everything it can to strengthen the country's defense capabilities and continue to support Ukraine in the fight against the aggressor now. As early as this year, Germany will hand over to Kyiv, for example, four Iris-T systems and five more Gepard SAUs, most of the 12 Panzer Hobbits 2000 howitzers promised last week, combat drones, several thousand artillery and tank ammunition, up to 40 Leopard 1A5 tanks and 20 Mada armored infantry fighting vehicles, Pistoria said. However, Germany itself is also in need of investment in defense and the army. Although the army is now better prepared for the need to react quickly to any threat, the list of needs of the German army remains long. As a result of the threat from Russia, Germany plans to allocate more than 75 million euros to the country's defense and security needs next year. For the first time, more than 2% of the country's GDP has been allocated specifically for defense, but this figure will also increase in the future call. Recently, Russian President Vladimir Putin threatened NATO with war after the inherently threatening comments issued by Vladimir Putin and the Russian minister, another ally of the president, has added to what appears to be a coordinated series of statements from the senior Kremlin figures. The chairman of Russia's state Duma, the lower house of parliament, this morning accused NATO of being a party to military action in Ukraine, suggesting it was already heavily involved in military decision-making. Vyacheslav Volodin, a close ally of Putin, accused the US-led military alliance of helping Ukraine choose which Russian cities to target, of agreeing specific military action and of giving Kyiv orders. They are waging war with our country, Volodin wrote on his Telegram channel. We don't have to wait long, just until next year, to witness how justice will prevail and Russia will be constantly bombarded from the air by Ukrainian drones, Ukrainian expert and journalist Ivan Yakovina reported. The journalist is convinced that we have started mass producing drones quite quickly, which means that massive strikes on enemy military facilities will soon become the norm for them. Ivan Yakovina spoke about this in his latest video on the YouTube channel. The political observer delighted Ukrainians with his forecast. Ukraine is now gradually increasing its capabilities for delivering long-range strikes against Russia, both quantitatively and qualitatively. This area will most likely continue to develop, and if this development continues at least at the same pace as it is now, then in 2025, that is next year, and it is not that long before that, the quantity of strikes against Russian territory, I think, will grow into quality, and throughout central Russia, including Moscow and the Moscow region, air raid sirens will constantly sound, and some strikes will constantly be carried out. Russia will not be able to do anything against this simply because there will be insufficient resources. It will be very difficult, practically impossible for Putin to wage war in such conditions. Hitler got something similar when, in 1944 and 1945, essentially all of Germany was on fire due to constant Allied air raids. That is, airstrikes were carried out on various German targets. Ivan Yakovina emphasized, Recall recently Ukraine targeted the Russian capital in its biggest drone attack so far, killing at least one and wrecking dozens of homes in the Moscow region and forcing around 50 flights to be diverted from airports around Moscow. Russia, the world's biggest nuclear power, said it had destroyed at least 20 Ukrainian attack drones as they swarmed over the Moscow region, which has a population of more than 21 million and 124 more over eight other regions. At least one person was killed near Moscow, Russian authorities said. Three of Moscow's four airports were closed for more than six hours and almost 50 flights were diverted. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters that the drone attack was another reminder of the real nature of Ukraine's political leadership, which he said was made up of Russian enemies. There is no way that nighttime strikes on residential neighborhoods can be associated with military action, said Peskov. The Kyiv regime continues to demonstrate its nature. They are our enemies and we must continue the special military operation to protect ourselves from such actions, he said, using the expression Moscow uses to describe its war in Ukraine.